The Golden State Warriors set the record for the most regular season wins in NBA history, passing a record set by Michael Jordan and the 1996 Chicago Bulls. Last night, the Warriors won their 73rd game, beating the Memphis Grizzlies 125-104. to The team is led by sharpshooter Steph Curry, who scored 46 points in the record-breaking victory. He also set his own NBA milestone by being the first player to make more than 400 three-pointers in a season. Uh, I'm blessed to play this game and have great teammates to sit up with every single night. So I just try to keep getting better, uh, keep pushing myself, and try not to have any kind of limit. And that's, that's what uh, you know, motivates me every single night. No limits indeed. CBN sports reporter Sean Brown traveled to Oakland to sit down with one of the record-setting warriors, James McAdoo, who says his identity is found in something greater than a basketball score. For the second consecutive year, the Golden State Warriors have become the team to beat in the NBA. And forward James Michael McAdoo, also known as J-Mac, says a big reason is because of the way the team gels outside of basketball. You know, going into this year and, you know, having experienced the success that we've had this year, I can honestly say it's because of, you know, off the court, you know, we're like brothers, you know, and it translates to on the court. And like you said, we have such a close, you know, knit of believers on this team. I've been able to start a Bible study on this team. Guys, you know, we're on the road. You know, we stay together. You know, we, we go before the Lord and we're just thankful, you know, because we know that, you know, this opportunity that we have, it's not something that comes along every day. James became a Christian at an early age. Though he came from a long line of great basketball players, he says he didn't want his identity to come solely from basketball. You know, the biggest thing for me is just always realizing that no matter what, my faith in God is how I want to be identified. After James graduated from Norfolk Christian High School in Virginia, he went on to play for the University of North Carolina with dreams of leading his team to the Final Four, a national championship, and going into the NBA. You play three seasons, yeah. you opt out of your senior year, you decide, you know, right. I'm going to forego my senior year, enter the NBA draft. Yeah. But then you're not drafted. Yeah. How did that affect you? It was tough. Honestly, I can tell you when I look back, leaving the University of North Carolina after my junior year was a pretty selfish decision. And obviously after I didn't get drafted, you know, I honestly, I can tell you I wasn't surprised. It all came out, you know, on ESPN live television that, you know, I went undrafted, this guy that was, you know, this top recruit coming out. And, you know, it pretty much was a pretty tough pill to swallow. Just after the draft, while at home in Norfolk, James received a call from his agent. And he's basically saying, like, obviously, this is how we saw this night going, you know. But, you know, we have opportunities on the table for Summer League. So now I'm like, okay, this is what it's going to look like. Obviously, I would have to go to Summer League, perform well enough there to earn a training camp invite. After showing off his skill in the NBA Summer League, James got an invite to attend the Golden State Warriors training camp. So I'm going through training camp, and honestly, I'm praying the hardest I think I've ever prayed in my life. I'm asking God. God, please let me make this team. I've already experienced failure once with the draft. You know, it comes down to the final day of cuts. I get that call. My agent's like, you know what? They're going to release you. But he wasn't there for long when he got a call from his agent. The Warriors were giving him another shot. And my agent calls me. He's like, hey, you know, they're going to call you up for your first 10-day contract. You get two 10-day contracts before they have to sign you for the rest of the year. James completed both 10-day contracts and was called up to the Warriors just in time to join their playoff run towards winning the 2015 NBA championship. One of those things where, you know, God just tells you, you know, like, I got you. Don't worry. Today, as the Warriors fight towards their second consecutive NBA title, James says even with all his success, don't get it twisted. He's playing for the Lord. You know, it's easy for me to say, you know, being an NBA basketball player, but I can tell you, money doesn't make you happy. Fame doesn't make you happy. Nothing in this world can make you happy. You know, I could lose everything today, and honestly, I can tell you, I would still praise my Lord and say to Jesus Christ, it's tough. It's not easy. Every day, it's a tough thing to do to, you know, really be sold out for the Lord, but it's worth it. I promise you, it's worth it.